Hey, hello guys, it's me Sarvesh back again with another video. Last week I just randomly checked my YouTube channel and I found people were actually watching my videos. So here I am today with a new fun project. The last project I uploaded about a year ago was a line following robot using only one IR sensor. So it made sense to make a line following robot without any IR sensors. Instead, we will be using a USB camera and OpenCV for the line following. So let's jump straight into it. This project will be made using a Raspberry Pi Zero. You can use any other single board computer you have at your disposal. Let's continue. The other things you will need to make this robot are a metal chassis with wheels, a L298N motor driver and a USB camera. Again, you are free to use ArcPi camera or any wired or wireless IP camera. For powering the robot use a 12V battery. Do note that you will need a step down converter as the Raspberry Pi will only work with 5V. Or you can simply use a power bank to power the Raspberry Pi as I did in this project. Before getting into connections, let's write a basic line follower script on our computer to test the black line detection. If you are here just for the code then click the link in the description. It will take you to my instructables page and you can download the code from there. Ok back to programming. First we import the OpenCV and NumPy libraries. I am using the OpenCV contrib library as I had it installed on my system already. If you don't have OpenCV then just type pip install opencv contrib python One thing to note here is that you do not need the contrib library for this project. But if you still wish to install it then don't forget to uninstall the OpenCV library if you have it installed on your system already as OpenCV and OpenCV contrib library tends to conflict with each other. Next thing we will do is to create a video capture object and set the resolution to 160 x 120. Now we are ready to get our first frame from our camera. For that we use the dot read method and for displaying the frame on our screen, we use the cv2.imshow method. But with this, we can only read one frame. Now to do this process repeatedly, we make use of a while loop. Now as soon as you run the program, the display window freezes and this is because there is no delay in the while loop. So to solve this, we use the wait key function. We enter the delay in milliseconds in the parenthesis. We also need to assign a key to exit the while loop. For that, we use the ord function. It gives us the unicode value of the character we intend to use to stop the loop. We use an if statement to check if the key is pressed. If the key is pressed, we simply break the loop. To release the camera and to close the windows, we use the cap.release and cv2.destroyallwindows instructions. Now comes the fun part, detecting the line and tracking it. For that, we first need to differentiate the black line from the rest of the frame. We achieve that by creating a mask with low and high black values as the range. For tracking a line with different color, you need to change these values accordingly. I will leave a link in the description to Murtaza Hassan's YouTube channel. He has some amazing videos related to OpenCV. Do check them out if you want to learn more. Once the mask is created, we can easily see that only the black line is visible and the rest of the area is blackened out. After this, we find the contours on the mask image and draw them on the original frame using the draw contours method. Everything seems fine until we introduce another black object into the window. Now the contour is drawn around both the black line and the new black object. This will make the robot to shift its focus from the line and we do not want that. So we need to find a contour with the largest area. But for that we need to at least have one contour detected in our image. We use the max function to find the largest contour. Now save and run the program and you can easily see that we only draw the contours around the black line and not the black object. Once we draw the contour around the black line, we need to find the center of the contour. And for this, we use the moments method. Using this, we get the x and y position of the center of the contour. For better representation, we draw a circle at the center point. Now the only part that remains in image processing is to figure out whether the line is in the center of the window or not. We know that the width of the window is 160 as we assigned it in the start. So we will consider the center of the window in between 40 and 120 pixels. And anything below 40 will be considered left and above 120 will be considered right. I have written print statements to know the exact alignment of the black line.
Last step to complete our program is to add instructions for actually controlling the robot. We import the Raspberry Pi GPIO library and set the mode to BCM. We then declare the output pins of the RPI and set all the initial values to low. We also need to initialize two PWM pins for the enable pins of the motor driver module in order to control the speed of the motors. Set the PWM values to 50. You can experiment with these values while testing the robot later. Now in the if statements in the last, we add the left and right movement code by turning the GPIO pins high and low according to our connections. We also need to set the output pins to low before the break statement so that our robot stops once the exit key is pressed. Yes, now this brings us to the part of assembling the robot. Refer this circuit diagram to make all the connections. Once all the connections are done, copy and paste the program onto our Raspberry Pi and run it there. For remotely accessing the Raspberry Pi, I use the VNC Weaver. If you do not know how to set it up, leave a comment in the description. I will do my best to help you out. And now place the robot on a black line and let it do its thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then drop a like. Also, we are only one subscriber shy of 200. So do subscribe. I will start working on the next video as soon as we hit 200 subs. So please help me reach the goal and thanks for watching the video.